Well, good evening, um, and uh, welcome to another COVID-19 um, um, video blog. Um, I heard some bad news, some sad news from, from the uh, jazz world that uh, Wallace Roney, famous trumpet player, he passed away. Uh, he, from coronavirus, so, um, wow, another, um, another great one leaves us. And also, I heard that the CNN anchor, Chris Cuomo, was also diagnosed with the virus, but apparently he, he doesn't have, he's not very symptomatic, and um, he's still actually working. He's going to be working, he made, they made a studio for him in the basement, he has a mini studio in the basement of his home, and, uh, and uh, he, um, he will continue doing his show from, uh, from, from the basement of his home. Somewhere I think Long Island. I don't know. Um, as you know, his brother is the governor of New York, who's getting a lot of praise for his actions to try to flatten the curve, uh, since the federal government's actions were not enough. Let's not name names here, right? But we know who we're, talk we're talking about here. Um, today, I actually, uh, after about f almost four days inside, I actually went out, except for going to the patio. Um, I actually had to go do some light grocery shopping. Um, went to the seam store, I always go to the Mexican place, bought a few things, I bought some wine also, so that's why we're having a little bit of some, some spirits here to brighten the day, right? Actually, I think it's funny that uh, I wonder what people that uh, have abstained from alcohol for a while, how they're, going, how they're dealing with this, uh, if they, you know, because this locked in thing is not easy and it, and not that I drink a lot but you know but I've been drinking a little bit more uh, with this thing going on because uh, so you need something I mean, they, you do end up you know you're home so you feel the, you, not you're going to get drunk but uh, you, you do feel the liberty of having lunch with a glass of wine and then you have dinner with a glass of wine so the wine goes faster um, than it does if you were not if you're not if you were not at home, right? I usually don't drink outside. I barely, sometimes I'll buy a glass of wine at the, at the ferry terminal when I'm waiting for the ferry. That's pretty much it. I mean, haven't gone to bars in ages. Can't remember the last time I was in a bar, um, except for the, <clears throat> except for if I had a gig. Uh, uh, I was at uh, this place in Brooklyn. I had a gig there and I was at a bar. And uh, on my birthday, uh, there's a place called Jimmy Steinies, which is right down the street from us. And uh, we went there for the karaoke night, and uh, I like to go to karaoke. My wife is not crazy about it, so I say, okay, it's my birthday, you got to do whatever, what I tell you <laughs> for once, right? Anyways, uh, work is, uh, it is what it is. I mean, uh, uh, we're teaching uh, the classes that have been going on for a couple of weeks already. They've kind of gone into a, sort of a stride <clears throat> in... Um, of, uh, of you know normalcy some people are still like you know a little bit frustrated because they they expected to be in a classroom while they're not and uh, um, and uh, some people have expressed a little bit of frustration about that but what you're gonna do I mean it's like we're all on the same boat it's not like oh, no 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 you're gonna go online you're, you're gonna go to class no it's like it is what it is and uh, so and uh, today was also said the second day of online with the ESL and it, since it was a, a lower level group, it wasn't easy. Uh, it just wasn't easy for various reasons. Uh, first of all, the technology, they were not used to the technology. And uh, there were other issues that I'd rather not talk about here too openly. But hopefully things will, uh, will turn out okay. And we will uh, have some success with this uh, whole system of, of teaching online although our tools are not exactly for that but well let's see okay well um i see that people have been posting songs of doom and gloom about this whole uh, the whole thing you know um and um and i thought about a, a song to cheer people up for once and um roughly six years ago i was in jamaica for a wedding and um at the wedding, I played this song, and it was so much fun because since it was a Jamaican song, people joined in. So this was actually the last time I played that song. So 
forgive me if I fumble a little bit, okay? Here we go. So, you know, things are bad, but... Beautiful, simple song, Three Little Birds. And it's so funny because uh, there's another song called Don't Worry, Be Happy that was written by Bobby McFerrin. And a lot of people assume that Bob Marley wrote that song. Well, he, Bob Marley was long dead when Don't Worry, Be Happy came out. So it's a it's a common misconception that Don't Worry, Be Happy was a song by Bob Marley, and which it, which it isn't, of course, Bobby McFerrin. And uh, I think it's because uh, the... The theme is it's pretty much the same. Don't worry. And people confuse the things. Well, hope to see you all uh, soon. And uh, drop a comment. Subscribe on YouTube if you like this. Um, if it sucks, just say, dude, you suck. Stop doing this. Right? <laughs> right. Okay. So good night. <laughs>